uh, yesterday, uh, the eighth day of uh, June 2020, around uh, 7.30 p.m., we had an unfortunate incident in uh, Tundwa location, Tundwa Township within uh, Lamu East uh, sub-county, whereby some uh, known gangs uh, attacked a police officer, a young police officer who was just employed the other day, he uh, was lured from uh, the station. Uh, we are told somebody called him, a uh, friend maybe, or uh, one of the youth, asked him to join them uh, in the village. And then uh, they ambushed the police officer with the uh, pangas and other sharp, sharp, sharp objects. And they cut him on the head, uh, the forehead, the neck, and killed him instantly. So the officer has been attacked because he was in the village, he just left alone. He was in Siberia, he went alone, which is uh, unusual. And uh, we lost the officer in that circumstances. It's very unfortunate, he was a young officer. We condoled with the family and the relatives of the youth, of the police officer. Because that is, uh, he was very promising. I said he's a very young officer, he was just employed in 2018. Uh, we condoled with the families, as I've said. Further to the incident that we have had in that neighborhood, in 2018, there were incidences of killings of uh, a chief and a uh, 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 Kenya Red Cross volunteer. 2019, we lost uh, an assistant chief and a chief, and then a police, we lost a police officer, an assistant chief and a chief. And this is 2020 again. Before we even gone through the first half, we have had that incident of uh, killing of a police officer, which is very unfortunate. Because uh, for the locals, uh, when you attack police officers and other law enforcement agents, it gives a message that uh, maybe you are opposed to the government, you want to live in a rural country or a rural uh, area, but we want to tell them whether they like it or not, we'll still be there. We'll continue maintaining law and order in those villages. We'll also continue giving services to law abiding citizens who are in that place. But we also want to assure those who are involved and uh, road breakers that are there that will come after. We, have, we already have suspects. We have had suspects before. We have arrested a few who had killed the chiefs before. We have suspects we arrested and some are in court. The others that we are looking for. And we also want to believe it is possible that they are also involved in this incident. Uh, is that yesterday when that incident happened, we arrested some uh, people, some suspects, who are assisting police with investigations. And we have now enhanced our investigation into the matter. We have deployed more officers to do the investigation and follow up on uh, suspects. We want to believe we are going to get the, those who are, in, uh, who are involved, the suspects, before it is uh, very long. That is, could be tomorrow or the day after and even this evening and others who are gathering intelligence to try to establish the exact and the person who is behind these killings. Because it is not a road. The audacity with which these uh, characters are killing our officers seems there is a power behind them. And that power could be a baron, a drug baron, or a person who is operated by law enforcement agencies and want to intimidate our chiefs and intimidate our police officers. But as I've said before, we are not going to give it to the criminals. We are going to face them we are going to do whatever is within our means to ensure that there is law and order in Lamu East and the islands. It is about drugs, and uh, there is a lot of complacency and uh, goodwill in regard to drugs uh, from the community, because we know nobody wants to give evidence or give uh, any information to the law enforcement agencies about those who are involved in crime, about those who are involved in dealing in drugs, about uh, anything that is uh, going to affect their people. You know, their relatives, they are protecting their own and wherever, but we change the strategy because if we continue doing things the way we have been doing them, we'll get the same results. So we'll do it differently this time around. We have been very loud whenever there is an incident where a police officer is involved, maybe a, a civilian or a Mwanaichi is affected by uh, or is uh, somehow offended by our law enforcement uh, work, they say hakietu. This is the time we want them to say hakietu for the loss of our life of a police officer. We also want them, those who go to them, we want also the civil society to work together with the police to try and unearth 
the motive behind these things and get some evidence from the communities. Maybe they could be more willing to give them information that they can give the police. So the civil society, if they get any information, they are free to share with us, share with the police, share with the county, county, uh, the county commissioner and others so that we get to the bottom of this matter. We will do whatever is within our means again to ensure that this doesn't have happen again.